In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to use GoodNotes with the ADHD planner. GoodNotes is my absolute favorite app to use. It's got loads of really amazing features. So I'll show you some of those today and I'll be walking you through um, how to use the hyperlinks, how to annotate the pages, um, how to duplicate key pages, how to copy paste pages and insert a page from a different document if you'd like to do that as well. So the first thing you need to know um, when you open the planner is there is a quick start guide that you can read through, but in this video, I'll essentially walk you through the same tips and strategies. So this planner is highly customizable and you'll see when you go into each month that I've set up for you, there is a dated calendar and you'll see the Monday start if you chose Monday um, or if you chose the Sunday start, it'll each uh, week will start with a Sunday here. And that will also be the same in your weekly calendar. So it will show Sunday here if you chose the Sunday start. And in inside of each month, you can view using the view all pages tab that there are already a couple of uh, templates inside to get you started. But I haven't provided you with 30 of the daily focus friends inside each month or a whole bunch of templates like that because everyone's different. And as soon as I start doing that, the files get really huge and it's really hard to navigate them easily. So I've left it up to you to determine exactly what you want inside each month. And if you hop inside the planner and you're starting to feel like, wow, there are so many options, I would highly, highly, highly recommend you just starting with the weekly planner and the daily focus friend. So sometimes ADHD brains can get really overwhelmed by all the options and we can sort of start to freeze and freak out and get analysis paralysis. I've helped hundreds of people in the chat get started and this without fail is always the best solution. So just hopping in and focusing on using the weekly planner. Um, if you want to annotate, I'll just show you how to do that now. So you can zoom in so that your handwriting is neater so that you can see more clearly and you just tap on this annotation icon here and you can select by double tapping on the colors here you can select select the colors that you want to use in the planner or you can also select custom colors like this and then you can just start writing in what you want to do so maybe it's a walk i can use the highlighter tool if i want to highlight that if I want to erase anything, I've got the eraser tool here like this. And so um, if I'm, if I've used this weekly pa planning page and say I've written some things on most of the days and maybe I've got some stickers as well in there like this and that's inside of my February month, I can duplicate this page like this. And it comes in with everything written on it. But if I just tap the three dots here in the top right hand corner, I can actually clear the whole page at once. And that's now ready to use for the next week. So this is how I use my planner. I tend to just duplicate pages as needed. So if I've got the weekly or uh, the daily focus friend, I can just duplicate that for a new day as I need it instead of having to duplicate everything in advance, which then becomes overwhelming because I feel like if I've got 30 daily focus friends, I need to use all 30. And that, of course, is the least ADHD friendly solution in the world. So this way you don't need to feel guilty if you fall off the bandwagon. You just add the pages as needed. It's kind of just like printing them off the printer, except for it's obviously less paper and ink. So you're saving money there and it's good for the environment. So the next thing you're going to want to learn to do in your planner is to copy and paste pages because that way you don't need to drag them all around the document and it makes customizing it so much easier. So if you're using the planner and you have in the current month that you're in, you have duplicated your weeklies and your dailies and you've got a good system going, you might think, okay, I'm ready to add some other templates into this month so that I can keep them here. So to do that, you're going to go to the template library and just browse and see um, what kind of template you might be looking for. So maybe you're in the mood for a tracker. So you're looking for a, uh, let's just say a sleep tracker and you wanna add this tracker to your current month. The way that you do that is you tap the three dots in the top right, you copy the page, then you go to the view all menu, which is these three, these four uh, squares up here and you just navigate up to the current month. 
So I'm going to go to say January. And when I get to January, I'm going to tap the little uh, menu from the drop down arrow and I'm going to add a page after and paste the page. So that sleep tracker just came in in January. And if I want to, I can reorder it and I can pop it wherever I like in that month as shown. And then that way, if I want to do a sleep tracker in every single month, I can now just duplicate it out of January and move it into other months. And obviously, as I said before, if it already has marks on it because I've used it in other months, I can still duplicate it as shown, move it to a different month, and then I can clear it ready to use the next time. So that's one way to use the, the add a template section. The other way is just to use it kind of like a rip off pad. So maybe sometimes you don't want to keep um, everything at all times. And so say you're using something like a weekend checklist. This is something you might just use for that weekend to stay productive. And you'll just write down things as you need them, blah, blah, blah. And then at the end of the weekend, you can just clear the page and it's ready for next time. And you don't need to move it anywhere because it's not something you need to keep. If you want to change the cover, it's the same principle with the copy paste. So from the home menu, you can just tap on the quick link that takes you down to the cover pages. And from here, you can just scroll across to find the one that you like. And when you find it, you can again, copy the page and then go back to the main menu and at the top of the document, you can add that new template by pasting the page in. And then if you want to, you can keep the current one or delete it. If you want to keep it, just copy it. And then you can, now that it's copied, move that to trash and then you can go and pop that just by tapping here at the end of the document so that you still have access to it if you want to change the cover at any point down the track. And when you change the cover, of course, it changes in the view menu here as well. Okay, the other thing that people are always asking me is, can I merge two documents together? So if I have this as my main planning document, can I insert pages from maybe a university assignment, um, or maybe something from work, like a, a roster app or a scheduler, something like that. So the answer is yes, you can. And it's really, really easy. So the way that you do that is you navigate to the page in the planner where you would like um, this template to go. So maybe in January, you're happy for it to go in here in January. And so the way that you do that is you just tap that little down and you just tap add, add page after, and then you import and you just select that page and it will pop in. And even if it is a multiple page document, that will still um, be inserted straight after that page for you there. So um, that is a really simple way to add extra pages to your planner. It's also worth mentioning that if you're using the GoodNotes app, you can get the GoodNotes app on your phone. You can get it on your desktop as well on your MacBook. So that means that you can actually sync changes across your iPad, your MacBook, and on your iPhone, which just means you can take the planner anywhere you go and make changes. And that's my main favorite feature about GoodNotes. It's none of the other, none of the other apps do that. And it's the only one and it's free. So really you can't beat it. Okay, so that is the main features for the planner. If there's anything else you want to know, just feel free to reach out to me on Instagram at future ADHD and I'm happy to help you.